chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again we shall now continue our discussion of the pair of quadratic equations which have to be solved and then it is to be determined whether x is more than y etc which we have already seen in our set 1 i will now discuss the questions that have been asked in the previous years question papers but since the questions are not restricted to quadratic equations these questions will be general questions of two equations so some of them may be quadratic some of them may not be quadratic let us start to solve them that will give you a better idea of how to tackle this type of questions normally five questions are asked in every question paper of the past years let us now start with our first question it says 13 by square root of x plus 9 by square root of x is equal to square root of x this has to be solved and simultaneously i am drawing a line and this has i'll cross it this has to be solved y raised to the power 4 minus 13 into 2 raised to the power 9 by 2 by square root of y equal to 0 these are not really tough but they require simple basic mathematical tricks nothing else let us take the left side first in this case we observe that the square root x is denominator here and denominator here so we will start by taking lcm and combining these two together so we'll have which implies 13 plus 9 will be added to 22 by square root of x is equal to square root of x which implies 22 is equal to square root of x into square root of x i have taken square root of x to the other side which implies 22 is equal to this square root of x and square root of x will become x so this is one thing that i have you must have seen how easily we have cracked this complicated expression into a simple value of x in this case y to the power 4 and square root of y what can be done is we can take lcm of square root of y this is lcm and y raised to the power 4 into square root of y minus 13 into 2 raised to the power 9 by 2 equal to 0 just little amount of bravery is required what is this now y raised to the power 4 into y raised to the power half because square root of y same as half i'll retain this one to the power 9 by 2 equal to 0 i have removed this square root of y because i can take it to the other side and this can be removed which implies y raised to the power this is what 4 plus half which is equal to y raised to the power 9 by 2 minus 13 into 2 raised to the power 9 by 2 equal to 0 so now i can take this minus to the other side which implies y raised to the power 9 by 2 is equal to 13 into 2 raised to the power 9 by 2 the powers are equal so y and 13 into 2 should be equal 
which implies y is equal to 26. So, we can see that x is 22 and y is 26. Therefore, x less than y should be the answer. Now, I want you to have a look at this part once again. I will write this on the another page so that I can discuss this separately. I had this one y raised to the power 9 by 2 equal to 13 into 2 raised to the power 9 by 2. How I managed to, I simply said that powers are same, so basis should be same. Look, this will not work every time. For example, if it had been y square equal to 2 square, in that case, y would have been equal to plus minus 2. So, you can obviously see plus 2 square is also 2 square, that is 4. And minus 2 square is also 2 square equal to 4. Now, why I did not take the minus sign in this case? So, you should note down, in case of odd powers, odd powers, plus minus is not taken, is not taken. This is an important rule that you should follow throughout the algebra. Now take it. Here I'll say I have y raised to the power 9 by 2 equal to 13 into 2 raised to the power 9 by 2. Scare both the sides. Scare both sides. So what do we get? y raised to the power 9 by 2 square equal to, I'm just writing it 26, 9 by 2 square. This is what do we get? I can cancel these off. So what I have is y raised to the power 9 equal to 26 raised to the power 9. Now since 9 is odd, therefore we will write y equal to 26 and not plus minus. So I hope you are very clear about this plus minus story. Had it been y raised to the power 8 equal to 26 raised to the power 8, this is even power. In that case, I would have written y equal to plus minus 26. So don't forget this rule. And this is the general sequence in which I made that shortcut on the previous page. So take note that this is the complete step. Let us move to our next question now. In the next question he says, y square minus x square is equal to 32. And the second equation that he has given is y minus x equal to 2. These all questions have been taken from previous year's question papers. So they are really difficult questions also and they need tricks also. In this case, this equation involves both x and y. This equation involves both x and y. Earlier cases, it was only x, only y. This is a mixture now. Okay, let us see what do we do. Start with this one. This is a square minus b square. I can write it as a minus b into a plus b is equal to 32, which implies y minus x can be taken from there because both the equations involve x and y. There is a dependency between them. I can take y minus x from the second equation and write it as y plus x equal to 32, which implies y plus x is equal to 16. 32 by 2 is 16. So, I have right now with me y plus x equal to 16. This is equation 1 and y minus x is equal to 2. This is equation 2. Now, let us add 1 and 2. 
when we add them y and y will become 2y x and x will be cancelled out and this will become equal to 18 which implies y is equal to 9 and similarly subtract subtract 2 from 1. So when you subtract 2 this sign will change to minus, this will change to plus, this will change to minus. So y and y will cancel off, x and x will become 2x equal to, this becomes 16 minus 2 equal to 14, which implies x is equal to 7 and therefore the relation is x less than y. Let us now move on to our next question. Here he has given us square root of x plus 18 equal to square root of 144 minus square root of 49. This is one thing he has given. The second thing he has given us is that y square plus 409 equal to 473. These are not tough but basic mathematics is required in this case. What I do is, I'll write this one as square root of x plus 18 is equal to, this I know will be plus minus 12, this I know is plus minus 7 and there is a minus sign. So what I'll do is, I'll take plus minus 7 out, write this as 12, retain this minus sign and take 7 here. So this will be plus minus 12 minus 7. If you don't want to take plus minus 7, answer will remain the same. You could have simply taken as 12 minus 7 also. Why? Because in the next step I have to scare both the sides. I will get x plus 18 scaring which is equal to plus minus 5 square, 12 minus 7 is 5, which implies x plus 18 is equal to 5 and 5 25. Therefore, if I hadn't taken this plus minus 5, it would have been 5 plain 5, but after plus minus 5, it is again 25 because scaring was done. So, it would not matter if you don't want to go through this complexity which implies x is equal to 25 minus 18 is equal to 7. Now let us attend to this side. This is y square equal to 473 minus 409. So what is it? 13 minus 9 is 4, 64, which implies y square is equal to 64 which implies y is equal to plus minus 8. Now there is no relation between these because y is having values of 8 and minus 8. When 7 is compared to 8 we get less than sign but when 7 is compared to minus 8 we get more than sign. So nothing is conclusively possible, so we write no relation exists. This would be our answer. Let us take to another question from previous years. These questions they look tough but they are really not. 7 by 5 divided by 9 is equal to 169 divided by x raised to the power 3 by 5. This is one thing. This is second one y raised to the power 1 by 4 into y raised to the power 1 by 4 into 7 is equal to 273 divided by y raised to the power 1 by 2. Let us begin by solving for this side which implies x raised to the power 7 by 5 by 9 
is equal to 169 by x raised to the power 3 by 5. I have used this divided sign for this. Now I will cross multiply. Cross multiply. So what will I get? x raised to the power 7 by 2, 7 by 5 multiplied by x raised to the power 3 by 5 is equal to 9 into 169 which implies now what will this be add the powers 7 by 5 plus 3 by 5 and let us keep this as such for a while which implies now this will be 7 plus 3 10 by 5 so it will ultimately become x square equal to 9 into 169 which implies x is equal to plus minus square root of 9 into 169 which is equal to plus minus square root of 9 is 3 and square root of 169 is 13 so it is equal to plus minus 39 let us now attend to this side let us add these powers it will become y raised to the power 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 multiplied by 7 is equal to 273 by y raised to the power half this divide has been changed into half which implies this is 1 4 by 1 4 what is this 4 lcm 1 plus 1 2 so it is y 1 by 2 into 7 i will bring this y 1 by 2 this side equal to 273 which implies now this and this can be combined powers will add we will get half plus half so half plus half is equal to 7 can be moved down equal to 7 3 is 21 and 7 9 63 which implies now this is what y equal to 39 so the relation that follows is that x is less than or equal to y. Let us take another similar example. This is also from previous year's papers and this is x cube multiplied by 13 equal to x square multiplied by 247. This is one thing and y raised to the power 1 by 3 multiplied by 14 is equal to 294 divided by y raised to the power 2 by 3. This is the question. Solve from this side. So what do we get? This can be written as 13x cube and this side can be written as 247x square. Take this to the left side which implies 13x cube minus 247x square equal to 0 which implies take out x square common and I think this 13 will also have some tabular relation with 247. So we know that 13 into 19 is 9 3 is 27, 117 and 13 so it is 247. So this we can take out 13 x square common. This will be x minus 19 x square is already out. 13 x cube turns into x square equal to 0 which implies x is 0 or this x is 0 or this part is 0 or x is 19. So two values of x are with us right now. Now let us take attend to this side. This is y raised to the power 1 by 3 
मल्टीप्लाइड बाय 14 294 बाय y रेस टू द पावर 2 बाय 3 नाउ क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई सो वी गेट y रेस टू द पावर 1 बाय 3 into y raised to the power 2 by 3 equal to 294 by 14. 14 we have brought down which implies y raised to the power we can add the two powers which is equal to so we can try cancelling this this cancellation will be 7 2 7 3 7 4 28 7 2 21 so this is what i get here so which implies this is 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 will be 3 by 3 and ultimately y is left and we get y equal to 21 so we have x is 0 or 19 and in both the cases x is less than y because 0 is less than 21 and 19 is also less than 21 the relation that is confirmed is x less than y now we will have more examples where square root of x appears in the denominator these questions are very very common in these exams let us see our next questions now.